Hello, my name is Daniel Villa, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to make a circle out of lines. If we have not met before in this channel, I give tips on how you can DIY art school from home. I do art materials reviews and I also do educational tutorials. My mission is to show with you the knowledge I have learned and hopefully I can teach you something new. I upload videos every week, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss a new upload. But for now, let's get on to the new video. I personally like to start my drawings with a H pencil. I like the hardness of it. And for me, when I really started drawing, one of the very first things that I learned, if you watched the previous video, was that we transition from drawing our pencils like this to holding our pencils from right about here. And one of the very first exercises that I learned was how to do a straight line. If you haven't done a line in a while, then I would recommend you just grabbing your pencil at this moment, just hold it like this, imagine it's a baton, and then just make a smooth line, just very light. Just feel how it just glides over the paper. Now that you've warmed up your hand, we're gonna switch into making a circle, strictly out of lines. I know that for the, mo for the most part, we all grew up doing circles with a compass or with some sort of guide. For example, we were always told easiest and fastest way to make any circle was to grab something that was already round and go around with a pencil and voila, we have a perfect circle. And yes, that is great. But what about when you need to do a circle on your own? When you don't have a guide, how do you get there? Well, we're gonna start with our line. When we're first gonna start, we're just gonna start with a single line. This time I've switched to a different pencil. I have a 2B to make sure that you can see this on camera. So I'm just gonna start with a couple lines I want to get these as straight as I can. And then I'm going to go right here. I'm going to cut off. What I'm trying to do here is make a box or a square. It's looking okay right now, but it is not really a solid square. So I really want to make sure I get a good solid square. And as you can see, I'm doing multiple lines. They're really messy lines and that's okay because they're very light and I can go back with an eraser. Going back to our box, once we've reached this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the corners. So we're gonna get another box just right about there to even it out. Then I'm gonna go right here and right on top. What we're looking for right now is to make sure that we've cut all of our triangles and even sides. Right here, that is clearly not the case. But the beauty of drawing with fairly, fairly draw light lines is that you can go back and adjust this. Eventually, you will notice that you're gonna have intersections where you, these two squares are meeting. They're gonna roughly give you the shape of a stop sign. That is where you wanna come in and you're gonna cut those across. And you'll see a rough semicircle shape. At this point, what you wanna do you still want to carve at it and you want to keep on refining because hidden in here, we're going to find our circle. At this point, what I like to do 
So I bring in this eraser, this is why I like it, and I start to cut away all the extra fat, per se. So more or less, more or less roughly, we have a circle coming from here. And at this point, that's when I switched holding the pencil a little bit more tightly. Don't be afraid to keep working on your circle until you're really satisfied with it being a really solid circle. One of the things that I would recommend if you want to try this exercise at home once the video is over, is try doing this right here. So make sure you start with your square, intersect with your diamond, find where your corners are at, and finally end up with a circle at the very end. Go ahead and repeat this. I recommend using a large piece of paper so you can see the transition of going from just a square to a circle. Do try to make your squares and your circles roughly around the same size. That really, really helps when it comes to your circle construction. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're brand new to drawing and you wanna learn more, make sure you check out the other videos and the playlist. There should be super helpful and I'm gonna be uploading more of those in the next couple days. Until then, no, you can catch me on Instagram at DanielViaArt or you can catch me at DanielViaArt.com. See ya.